do it. You scrawled on this video to do it. It's your boy, Daddy Scobar Dreamer. Alright, so we back with another big body banger, you feel me? Listen, today we have a crazy video. Now this, now imagine, okay, you fall in love, right? Bada boom, bada bang, you love each other, you find the love of your life, y'all just chilling. You want to take that next step, you propose. She says no. Instead of you walking away sad, crying, all this stuff, you take out a freaking AK-47, you start, do, 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 it just light her up, because she said no. Talking about some, oh, if I can't have you, no one can. You know what I'm saying? That's basically what happened here, besides the, except for the AK-4. I don't know what happened. But this dude got rejected when he proposed to his girlfriend, and he offed her. He literally just let it rip on her. I don't know how he did it, but it happened. Now, that's, that's actually crazy to think about, because if you really love this person, why would you, why would you kill them? You know what I'm saying? And if they just said no, you, you could have had a chance a year from now. Two years from now, all you had to say was, um, okay, what can I change to make you want to marry me? You know what I'm saying? If she says nothing, then walk away. There's plenty of fish in the sea. My guy, I promise you. There, there are a whole bunch of people out there for you. Well, not you, because you crazy and stupid, but out there for somebody. But we're going to watch this video. I ain't going to hold y'all for too long, so let's hop right into this. All right, so in today's video, I'm going to be talking about a Pakistani man who recently was accused of killing a young Pakistani girl because she rejected his marriage proposal. And this young woman's name was Myra Zulfikar. Now this young girl, her name was Myra and she was 25 she years old here. and apparently had flown back to Pakistan for a wedding celebration that one of her friends or family members was having, but had to stay longer due to the COVID-19 restriction measures. However, according to a journalist covering the story named Tahir Abin Manzoor, who wrote this piece for thedailymail.com, he said that Myra was found dead lying on a pool of blood in her rented apartment in Lahore, Pakistan. And for those of you who don't know, Lahore in Pakistan is one of the richest cities in Pakistan. I believe it is the richest. I'm not entirely sure, but it does say here on Google that Lahore is the capital of the Pakistani province of Punjab and is the country's second largest city after Karachi, as well as the Karachi. Hmm. 26th largest city in the world. Lahore is one of Pakistan's wealthiest cities with an estimated GDP of 84 billion as of 2019. So obviously it's a very affluential area of which a lot of rich people reside in. But unfortunately, the wealth of this city couldn't keep Myra safe. In any case, her death was a result of gunshot injuries to the neck and shoulder. There were marks on her body that proved that she was tortured and also strangled. Now a man named Zahir, 26 years so he ain't just like quickly like, Ugh, you said no. You know what I'm saying? He tortured this little girl. The man deserves to rot in jail for the rest of his freaking life. Old, he confessed to murdering this British law school student. And while I'm on this point, yes, she's actually from England. She was born and raised in England, but her parents are from Pakistan and left many years ago to travel to England to, I suppose, have a better life. But based on this story, it states that Myra and Zahir were in a relationship and he decided to murder her after she rejected his marriage proposal. And it's suspected that after she rejected him, he got mad, offended, and decided to lash out on her. Now, a little bit about Zahir, Myra's former boyfriend, you know, he's basically a rich kid, a rich, privileged, wealthy socialite who never had to work for anything a day in his life, who got angry and shot his girlfriend to death because she didn't want to get married to him. However, the authorities have also... That's how it be with, like, these privileged people. They're not used to hearing no. You know what I'm saying? And that's how it be... That's Okay, we'll stay on this topic because I was about to go somewhere else. But that's really how it be with these privileged people because they don't know how to accept no. They don't know what the heck their reaction is supposed to be to no. You know what I'm saying? I was about to go into my next thing, but I don't want to do that. We ain't, that's not what this video is about today. Arrested some of his relatives who are believed to have participated in the murder. A man named Sad Butt. Yeah, that's actually his <laughs> name. Sad, <laughs> Sad Butt? <laughs> who name think? <laughs> Come on now, be realistic. Sad butt, that's your name? Real, look at your unibrow. You a sad butt. You is a sad butt. <laughs> 
bad, but a former friend of Myra was also a suspect but has been released after refuting any involvement in the homicide. Now, according to police reports, Myra had actually filed a complaint against her boyfriend, stating that he had kidnapped her at gunpoint and threatened to kill her. But I suppose the local law enforcement in Lahore, whoa, whoa, Pakistan, whoa, didn't whoa, take whoa, this seriously. Whoa, 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 Wait a minute. We ain't gonna skip right past that. You knew this was a mother effing you was getting in a relationship with. <laughs> you, 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 you. Of course she said no. You threatened to, you kidnapped her and stuff. And threatened to kill her. <laughs> this ain't funny. I don't know why I'm laughing. Like, this is really bad. You did all this. And then you expected to propose. And it was just going to be forgiven. And it was just going to be like, oh, my God. I love you so much. Let's be realistic. The end kind of swept it under the rug. And it's pretty obvious for anyone listening to the story that something like this was bound to no happen. Cat. The guy has anger issues. He's a socialite, meaning that, you know, he's living off of daddy's money. He's privileged. He's entitled. And, you know, these kind of guys and girls cannot stand rejection as they've oh. always been given anything they wanted in life. I would like to touch on the fact that I did learn something, though, after doing some research on this case. And it's the fact that in Pakistani society and the Islamic community, men are often offended and get violent if rejected or denied romantic favors. And I know not all Muslim or Islamic men are like this, obviously not. But after doing some research, it seems to be ingrained within the culture. Women seem to be treated as second class citizens, obviously not in all communities or countries, but it seems to be a pre you still don't just offer a second class citizen no matter what you want to classify them as you still don't just like kill them no matter what like that's 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 like you just randomly just killing a dog or something they're not even second class citizens they're like freaking 900th class citizens and nobody goes around just killing dogs when the dog doesn't sit when you tell it to sit prevalent issue that seems to be very widespread and in these situations when women reject marriage proposals or romantic advances from particular types of islamic men women can risk the chance of getting beaten up upon the refusal of marriage and possibly killed if that man turns out to be you know listen you in pakistan is this stuff really happening like tell me in the comments down below if you've ever been there or if you're from there or no family in there or whatever let me know in the comments down below is that really like a thing where they just people just getting off for getting rejected let me know in the comments down below. And I already know there are going to be some Muslim or Islamic men in my comment section getting offended or angry at the fact that I'm highlighting this issue. And obviously, I'm not saying that this issue doesn't happen in other communities around the world or around the globe. Obviously not. But I am saying that after watching a video from people who legitimately come from Pakistan talking about this issue, they made a video themselves talking about Myra's death. They said that due to cultural differences, Myra growing up in England, which is a Western country which prioritizes women's rights, equality, women choosing what they want to do with their lives, etc. And then you have her boyfriend who was born and bred in Pakistan, grew up in Pakistan around the specific Islamic culture that doesn't necessarily align with the thought that women should be as free as they are in western countries like england or in the u.s or places like in germany apparently in pakistan and other islamic countries it's much more conservative and much more strict in terms of the amount of freedom that women have so when you have a western girl who grew up in england whose parents are pakistani but you know she grew up pretty much in the West, so she has a different kind of culture. Who then decides to have a Pakistani boyfriend who grew up in the East with a completely different culture that does not align with hers? These types of unfortunate situations are inevitable. Like the vibe I was getting from this video is that a lot of people who grew up in these countries have an idealistic view of their parents' home countries. And then when they finally go to these places and try to pull the same kind of behavior that they pull in like places like America, whether it be talking a certain kind of way or dressing a certain kind of way, and they get in trouble for doing these types of things that were acceptable in the West, they quickly realize that- Yeah, but n nothing that he's saying right now is, is an excuse to just kill somebody. It's not, not, I, I see what he's saying, all this stuff, whatever, different culture, different way, but none of it is still justifiable to off somebody. Oh, so I guess things don't work the same way as they did back home in England. In any case, the situation is tragic. I send my condolences to Myra's family and friends. I know they're incredibly sad right now, as I saw a video of, I believe, her father or her brother or cousin crying his eyes out at the fact that she's now dead. It's really tragic, but if any of you guys are interested in watching this video, it's titled British Law Graduate Myra Zulfikar. And the two people in this video are just talking about the situation, about how sad it is, as they have Pakistani and Islamic backgrounds themselves. So I'm going to be putting a link to this video in the description for anybody who's interested. With that being said, that's sad, right? 
Because... First of all, he barely even talked about the case. He started going to like cultural norms and all this stuff. Now, I'll be watching this dude videos a lot. His videos be pretty entertaining. But this one, I needed more juice on what the heck was wrong with the dude. What was his family? Did he go to jail? Did they catch him? Or is that like the, you saying it's source, socially normal so he just got away with it? He's like, oh, there's just another one who should have just married the guy that kidnapped her and, and threatened to kill her. He, she should have just married him. And it is don't send him to jail because th th that's just normal. Like, come on, bro. What actually happened in that freaking story? Like, that's ridiculous. And I understand the people you're saying it's so different in other countries. I understand that. But nothing, none of it is justifiable to kill somebody, especially if they just say no to marrying you. Maybe you're ugly and stupid and no one loves you. How about that? Huh? Maybe maybe, maybe kill your plastic surgeon. You know what I'm saying? Kill, kill somebody else. Not you, You're just a loser. Like, come on, bro. If you got to owe somebody because they rejected you realistically, like being 100% serious right now, you're not that guy. And you need to become that guy and stop being a freaking loser. First of all, it's too late to become that guy. You're going to kill somebody. Now you're in the jail for the rest of your life. You sad, sorry bum. Anyways, y'all. Like I said in the comments down below, if you from like any of these different countries that he was talking about, um, let me know, is that like an actual thing? Is this like a daily occurrence or this or does this, does this stuff like happen all the time or whatever like that? Y'all let me know in the comments down below. But that's everybody. If y'all enjoyed this video, smash the like button. And I know y'all for surely enjoy this video right here. This college student got caught cheating on his girlfriend with a middle schooler. Now you heard me right. College dude caught cheating. That's bad enough. But he cheated on his girlfriend with a middle schooler. Watch the video. It's freaking crazy. But that's everybody. I'm going to see Y'all, out.